aspect of a god and everything else it changed all that deities i call little gods because these worlds that we're going to talk about going into each has a god to protect it you got a, ho- a college a high school you got somebody that over overrides the whole school you have to have somebody that something that keeps control over it you can't let a kindergarten person go to college and say he graduated and then let him do whatever he wants tommy <clears throat> You got yes. about forty yes. th- about forty four minutes left. Wow, uh, <laughs> you've been on a roll, haven't you? <laughs> no, I, you have. Well, uh, I, I, you're doing pretty good, huh? But if you want to, you want to say in. something, or no, you can say something well, or anything else. I don't. Yes, or real slow. <laughs> well, <laughs> I uh, don't understand exactly how we're going to be able to accomplish everything every Sunday, but we've been doing this eight years, folks, and we missed some Sundays, and uh, it was due to my family usually death and dying. But uh, I hope that people will understand we do this out of the love of our heart and uh, getting the mind with the heart and mixing it together with the soul and what the soul is all about because we're here such a short time. And, uh, you know, a lot of the things on alien, ancient aliens history channel, and uh, that is very commercial. And we do like science fiction and uh, science. There's a lot of scientists that like science fiction, but I also like theosophy and philosophy. And I felt like my mission in this reality was uh, to be here and usher in this ascension age, which is about awakening ascension and also the spaceports which we're going back up in space now not everybody may have the same mission but uh, tommy's is a very high calling uh because maybe people don't understand how we use words and what we mean especially academics but uh, having worked in government and out of government traveled the country and seen uh, how people live and things are very different around the world and we're not all born into the same culture. And in America, I know that we've been a melting pot for all other type of uh, cultures. And I'm all about American culture and international relations. But, you know, right now it's very uh, fluid is the best way to say it. And uh, I don't like to talk about the politics of the world. And I've noticed that a lot of – Tommy, a lot of religions, uh, if I can just take a few moments, Tommy – uh, are really about saving uh, churches or evangelicals' way of thinking, or they, somehow they've separating people. And uh, most presidents have been Christians, Episcopal or Presbyterian. You can look it up uh, about religions in America. But God, the word God, just for everybody, is on our on our money, our currency in America, in the United States of America. It's in our Constitution which is what we base our laws on, and it's in the Declaration of Independence. So uh, this country, this great country, the United States of America, and I happen to be very privileged to have seen a lot of different uh, religions being formed uh, in America and studied a lot of world religions, but I would say the majority in America is based on God, Now, how they divide that up or believe uh, there's a lot of Hasidic Jews uh, in America, and we support in America with uh, the Christian face and the Adamic face. And that Tommy can usually talk about all three of them, uh, which is uh, Jews, Christians, and uh, I always want to say Hindu, but it's not, uh, Muslims. They all come from the Adamic religions all the way back to Adam and Adama, and a lot of people uh, believe that the uh, Enuma Elish and the Atrahasis story and the Great Deluge stories and the stories of Noah and all those came from the On. And uh, there's a lot of stories of Ur, you are on you? YouTube. So, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, no, I, I, I keep beeping out every 10 minutes for a second. I am? I am. I am. Oh, oh well, that's on but, your uh, side. But you've been you've been real right. good. I've been listening to you the whole time. But no I just problem. thought I'd add in that a lot of the ancient cultures that we may not believe in, 
But uh, I have the Ace Folklife for myths and legends as well. So a lot of our stories that have been written, we don't know. We were their mysteries. So uh, I would like to just suggest that God is the all-seeing and all-knowing. And men in our way of being, since we really don't know what the God source is really in the way we think with our limited uh, thoughts, we're trying to do our best in neuroscience now to work out the fact that we are smarter academically and left brain logically, but we have our right brain too. And we're whole brain thinkers now, even that's controversial. But uh, Tommy and I have our own opinions, but we've been able to get along. Uh, Some people compared us and his friends to old married couple, but uh, we're both single and uh, he has a partner. He's been very happily uh, partnered with. For how many years have you been with Dom Gall? Almost um, twenty. Uh, twenty years. Almost twenty. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. That's amazing. She's a Hindu. I know she's a she's a Buddhist, isn't she? Right. Is it different right. Buddhist than Hindu? It is, isn't yes. it? Yes. So there's all type of world religions, folks. And I've learned something about in America, Tommy, that a lot of people aren't very educated about all the world religions. And that would really help people to understand and be less biased. And now with all the things that have been happening in America, I think it would really help people to understand uh, more about how our country was founded and that it was mostly, uh, you know, Christians, basically, they were pretty strong. Uh, coming in from uh, the old country, and y'all may know about the tea party and dumping the tea and all that, and taxation, and we don't like taxes, but that's why we left the old country to get away from the king in the first place. But I've noticed a lot of the churches seem to go on the Republican side, and I don't think that should be a split. The uh, poor people, and it did not used to be that. I want you people to know that in America, we, it used to be quite the opposite of the way we think with Democrats and Republicans, but shouldn't bring that up on a religious show possibly. But I've heard a lot of the stories, and I used to go to church quite a lot, the type you go to brick and mortar and show up, and there's a lot of people having them in their cars now. But Tommy and I have an Internet church only on Sundays and then occasional Wednesdays. Wednesdays I'm going to have some of the females do a Wednesday show with me and then Tommy does a Tuesday show but if you like what you're hearing we hope you'll come back and check in with us and see how we're progressing and uh, Tommy and I study and like you said he's watched a lot of television that really shocked me that you shared that that you spent that much time looking at uh, uh, horror shows for Halloween I guess you really get into Halloween uh, and and television movies so maybe we should uh-huh. It wasn't horror shows. It was real life, real thing shows like ghosts and, and people that are Oh, you're doing on... reality shows? Reality yeah, shows? Bus, oh, you didn't like really, yeah, not, oh, you didn't really like... clarify. Oh, so right, maybe sometimes we talk, maybe sometimes we talk in general and we, we're, uh, Tommy and I will just, I guess you could say God gives us the gift of gab, whatever you want to call it, but. This is what we've been doing uh, since 2012, and that was to bring people together, actually to bring – Tommy, explain real quick for people because we got 35 minutes. I'll give you the last 30 minutes, but let's break it up a little bit because people's ears get tired, even mine, and I've been working with you for years, and I love you. So, But uh, even though we may not – we may love each other on some levels, I don't understand that, Tommy. Do you call that a soul level, or why is it you can have resonating energy? With we never with met each other? each other in human form. Yeah, I'd like you to explain that to my ascension community. How do we, how, how do we okay. stay working together and yet we're okay to agree to disagree, but we have some kind of strange union, and I can only relate it to the way I was trained in reincarnation, which we haven't really talked much about. But in America, we were not taught to believe that we could possibly have lived before. And come back. Or even in this body, I've come and went three times. And you probably, I don't know, how many times have you left your body? I remember the bathtub story and your books and things. So, But we both left our bodies and come back. So we know there's a hereafter. So we both feel like we're ascension masters. And I haven't touched on that, but I'd like to have it today, November 1st. Ascension masters, the ascension awakening people 
all believe in the ascension age or the awakening of the soul self in your higher self. And Tommy separates it with soul and spirit. Uh, Tommy, some people think, and this is sort of how I feel. I'm not right, but it's right for me, is that my soul is the combination of all my experiences. So there's some things I'd like to hear Tommy's because it resonates with me. But let's start with love. Why is it, Tommy, just take a few minutes to answer some questions for me. But why is it that you think that you and I somehow will come back and share? Uh, well, I'm trying to build Ascension Center Ohana with you in Hawaii so we can, you know, have a retreat and a, a study time and all that in a human form since I've never met you. But what is that that brings us together as healers? Can you address my well, ascension group? Uh, here's the thing. For me, uh, what I was shown way back a long time ago, that in this lifetime, I will see every soul that I work with in any of my lifetimes that are in this reality today. Any souls that reincarnated and reincarnated that are here that I have ever been with in any lifetime all the way back to Atlantis, I will meet with them in this lifetime. And people, many souls are here from Atlantis as well. I'm not saying I'm the only one or anything like that. Even, uh, I don't know if to say her name, but she's, we did a show and we debated that because she was aware of being in Atlantis as well. But uh, we do have reincarnations together. But the most important thing, which I said already, is what we are right now is the best we have ever been. It means we can have the complete awareness that we had in all the lifetimes. We can have the abilities and everything else all along the way. And it's really important oh, really? to bring that into the reality. Well, but I getting back to the all. question. I, I don't use who? all my abilities. I choose not to use all my abilities. But I feel oh, like no, I'm... I don't uh, need abilities that way. No, TJ, oh, you're walking okay. down the street and a car's coming, or a plane's going to crash into there. You say, I'm going to go this way. That's using your abilities. When I'm going to say, I'm going to stop the plane from crashing. No, that's, that's using psychic abilities the wrong way. I said, I already talked about that, but allowing them to manifest and create what protects you and guides okay. you in life, well, not to well, control you them and to use them. Thought. I just wanted to know for okay. my ascension people, because each of us, when we give a message, we have to remember who our audience is. And mine is ascension healers, but you're familiar with David Wilcott and Corey Good and their stories with Gaia. Now, I don't think either one of them are any longer with Gaia, but they, a lot of people... And uh, I used to work in the 70s when my daughter died in 74. So I'm claiming 74 when I became Ascension Awake. And now you'll hear people say they're awake now when they awaken to the fact that they're more. But I don't know that they really understand it on their path. So only they know where they're at on their path. We can only help lead. We say lead, follow, or get the heck out of the way, right? But uh, that's with a group and a team. But it's very hard to get people to work together. So I'm very curious as to the uh, – to me, it's a mystery. Why does God and Jesus allow Tommy and I to work together? And I saw Jesus on a spacecraft in this reality because I was taken, and I have to own that. But for years, I wouldn't because I felt – less than and like I shouldn't tell my truth but Tommy was just out there he was just saying unbelievable things sounded crazy as ever so he wrote a book called if truth is called crazy or something but Tommy is way out there folks but yet he sounds so grounded that he has a really big following so a lot of people like how he teaches now that's up to you I'm more softer female he's male uh, dominant alpha male and he was with a coven he says covenant a covenant is like a promise you make with God so I'm sure he was under a covenant but at the same time we can be light workers like on uh, a movie uh, with the three witches and Tommy was a witch and I guess I was too in Salem so we should bring that in but we're both into rituals so maybe we both been burned at this together, but I don't know. I can't tell you folks, but you know, I believe in the higher powers and getting above the yin yang, the positive and the negative and the light and the dark. So I have a, a past life with Alex Collier. I've never met him. I didn't know anything about him, but Tommy brought him up once and so did this guy I wrote for in Canada named Dirk Vanderplug when I was writing for UFO Digest about my UFO or extraterrestrial experiences. So you can look those up. They're still out there. But uh, 
I had never heard, but I had an Andromeda story because when I was working at another level of consciousness in this three 